Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 2023 as we continue our hard mode difficulty run with Alpha Tari. And I just remembered why Theo was not as fast in that last race. We did have the, the our first place or our, our, our uh, first design of suspension on his car. So that's a that's a pretty old suspension, pretty not great suspension, honestly. And so that definitely put him a bit slower than uh, what we're used to. So that makes sense. Taking one third place hit just to kind of save a little bit of money is probably advisable. We don't have to win this by double. <laughs> just, you know, that's just what I want. It doesn't mean what we have to do. So it's probably not the smart thing to push too much. Um, this is a power circuit. So we might be running our better engines here in a bit. And uh, let's go look at our design. We can definitely do one more design here. And we want to do the chassis for sure. Get that fifth chassis. And of course, we want to start working on the rear wing here in a bit. Let's go and get the chassis first, just because this will be something we can go ahead and start working on. Um, I'm actually going to just do, I'm putting more, the 1.1 hour into the rear wing, actually, I think. All right, so we don't care about lifespan. Uh, mostly we're going to be caring about in airflow middle, but I kind of do want to work a little bit on some of these other ones. I mean, that's way more airflow middle than we need, honestly. I mean, maybe I'll work on the drag reduction. I'll put it somewhere down the middle or something like that. Get us a little bit more top speed. We're already really fast, though, to be honest. And this actually technically loses some airflow middle, so that's not really what we want. Do I work on some engine cooling? I don't know if I care of that. I mean, yeah. Honestly, maybe we just don't even worry about that at all. We'll get that back with the rear wing in a bit. Maybe we do just focus on a little bit of engine cooling here. Oh, I think something like that's going to be good. Be pretty reasonable parts. It's going to get us a little bit more medium speed, a little more high speed. Tiny dip in these two, but I'm not worried about that. And a bunch more engine cooling. I think this is going to be an okay part. All right, 10 days for this. Um, we got 30. So we'll definitely have both of them in time for Zandavort without even putting any more engineers. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. And then that does mean we have... Oh, actually, we only had the one engineer anyway. All right, next design coming up is in eight days. That will be after the British Grand Prix, which is the underfloor. Then we'll have the front wing. And all of these are, all four of these are parts that we can, we can build. So I'm happy with that. Just means that we're going to get faster and faster over these next few races than what we've already been. All right, we're going to try this again because we kind of make up some of that money that we just lost in that last race. The last race did not go super well, but... Not too bad, actually. To be fair, uh, Sonoda coming back and getting uh, um, I'm gonna say both drivers get top five. Uh, Sonoda come back and getting first place in that that <laughs> sprint was insane. <laughs> that was really good. All right, that looks good. Do the race weekend. Again, it's a power circuit, so we'll probably run our better engines. Welcome. Part of me is tempted to run um, new engines because we know we're going to need some new ones at some point, but our current engines are actually still pretty good. So I'm going to go do the practice and I'll bring you guys back for qualifying. All right, we're back from qualifying. Got 100% uh, on both car setups. Pretty, pretty normal. Let's go ahead and put on our good engines here. Um, perhaps skip the ERS accidentally. There we go. At some point, we do have to decide when we're going to run new parts, right? Because we got to take the penalty at some point. <laughs> I don't know when that will be. Uh, probably for a downforce track, actually. And the reason I say that is because we, um, we're we pretty good at downforce tracks. I mean, I think we're still number one on engine overall, if we're running our best engines especially. But definitely think we're, where our strength is probably downforce tracks. Uh, do I run both? I mean, obviously, we saw that. You know what? Maybe I run it for a sprint. Because we can already, we already prove that Sonoda can come back from like really far down. So take a penalty on the sprint. I think he still takes, no, you're right. You don't take the penalty on the sprint. You take the penalty on the race. Yeah, I still think he'd be fine. I'm not worried about Sonoda. Theo, we probably, you know what? We take the penalty when we get our new parts. Figured out. All right. That will work because that'll be, make us the fastest possible that we can be. And then we'll take a penalty accordingly. All right. Sounds good. Let's just go ahead and run our normal qualifying stuff here.
Hopefully get a good first first run here, not have to run a second one. Theo looks like he might get a little hung up. I didn't see Sonos. Sonos back there. Okay. Uh, we might be all right. Sonos a little bit further down than I'd like, but I, there's a pretty big gap between six and seven. So I think Sonos will be fine. I mean, I can go ahead and put on some new tires just in case we got to run him out at the last minute, but Theo 100% should be good. I mean, those bottom eight cars are going to have to get ridiculously fast to catch Sonoda. A couple of them will, but I can't imagine many will. Nah, we should be good. All right. Well done, guys. Did what we needed to do. Looks like uh, Red Bull's taking some penalties in this race. Okay, so nothing else changes here. We'll go ahead and put the other tires back on. And let's go. Expect another reasonably good run here. Hmm. As a second gap between Theo and Sonoda, Theo's pretty confident he's going to have to run again. That is not a good run for him. Not ideal, but I do want to make sure he gets in there. Theo, if Sonoda was knocked out of qualifying, I wouldn't worry about it. He'd be able to make it back up. Theo obviously running. He's actually running a slower front wing and a slower front, uh, slower suspension now, so... I expect Theo to be, you know, just slower. He's just going to be a slower car. We might actually miss out on a couple second place finishes over the next race or two. Just because he's uh, he's having to run some older parts. Because I'm trying to save some money. Taking a couple weeks of slower cars is probably a smart move for the long run. Yes, would I love to be first and second the entire rest of the way through? For sure. But I think we've got to play the long game. And the long game says we don't, we don't go crazy on our parts. Because we've got to save as much money as we can. All right, that looks good. Let's do this last qualifying. I'm expecting Theo to qualify probably fourth again. Honestly, I think fourth is probably exactly where he'll end up qualifying here when it's all said and done. Two, one, should be great. I have zero doubts that Sonoda will be first. Theo might be... Yeah, I mean, he's, he's 600 to the second behind Sonoda, so that's a pretty big gap. Probably get by without Sonoda running a second run here, but let's just go ahead and get it done. Just might as well. Just to make sure. I mean, Theo definitely needs the second run here. Okay. Again, 600 of a second behind Sonoda. There's enough gap there, I, I would imagine. Oh, only Leclerc's in... Her staff is not even in there. Wow. Had I noticed that, I might not actually run them the second time because her staff is the only one I would really be super concerned about being able to jump over them. All right. Well, we run the engine down a little bit more than I probably would prefer, but it's going to be fine. Um. All right. Well, let's get ready for a good race here. Uh, this is a power circuit, so we'll leave the good engines on. Hmm, I guess we can definitely run that one a little bit. Oh, uh, not that, sorry. That. Run that a little bit more. We might even be able to run it, like, pretty crazy here. Pretty close, honestly. Something like that actually wouldn't be... We're going to do that. I mean, we'll definitely adjust as we get in there. But something like that's a good starting point. I mean, there's just nothing we can adjust on this one. So we're definitely running the extra pit as is. Um, do we run this with instead of, uh, with a hard instead, though? 
really doesn't leave much flexibility here. I mean, it is a microscopic amount faster, in theory. Um, I'm going to try one more with an extra pit stop. So let's say we... I hadn't thought about trying with the medium going at the beginning. It is faster, actually. The second faster. Okay. Well, I was going to try with an extra pit stop. So let's try with an extra pit stop. Not a great soft, so it'll be better for Sonoda. Because Sonoda does have a better tire at the end there. I don't think that's even close. Yeah, that's not even close. But what we did prove is that switching this to medium and being a little bit aggressive here at the beginning is a better strategy. By a second. Not much, but every second counts, right? So we'll do mediums, hards to softs. That's, that's at least we can push a little bit. It's not amazing, but... Um, it's going to be fine. Yep, looks perfect. I like it. Let's go with that. Nothing else changes. Let's start the race. Should be able to run the first stint or first lap at full tilt. And then we'll have to drop back on the medium pretty quickly. And the drivers are ready for this. The British Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And away we go. All right, Theo, obviously do that. Sonoda, you're fine. I'm assuming everybody else is on. So actually, most people are on mediums. All right, come on, Sonoda. Settle in right behind here. No, it's all right. See, again, he's a slower car, so other people getting ahead of him is not too big of a surprise. I'm not super concerned about it. Just need, I mean, third place is plenty, especially with Red Bull this far down, taking some penalties and other things like that. Third place is plenty if we can hold on. And even fourth place would not be the end of the world if it's if it is Mercedes ahead of us, because we're obviously not super worried about Mercedes in the grand scheme of things. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tone you guys down. It's all right. Everything else looks good. I mean, we've done zero upgrades on our cars in several races. I mean, we've got some in the wings, right? They're not out there yet. Whereas other people very likely have been continuing to do upgrades on their cars. So our car is about to get a big jump in speed, whereas everybody else is probably going to come to the end of theirs. More than likely, most of the AI is going to start working on research more than design. So us pushing the design a little bit further is, you know, risky, but we're going, we're going all out for it this year. All right, so Theo might, I think Theo drops behind. He's just... He's just not as fast, right? He's just not in a very fast car right now without the front wing. Front wing and suspension are two big points of of our, our design here, right? Like, that's massive, massive points for our design. So having those be our first iteration as opposed to the third iteration, that's a pretty big jump, or drop, I should say, in speed, as we're seeing here. I'm actually surprised Norris is able to stay hang with Sonoda that much, though. Again, that just goes back to, I guess, Sonoda not having any upgrades for quite some time. All right, let's go ahead and settle down to balanced. Now it looks like, yes, it is. Alex Albon's involved in that. All right, so it's starting to get Norris a bit now, as we would expect. Is that because he, pu he pushed a lot? Of he was on soft tires. Okay, that makes a big difference, and he did push quite a bit. So that all starts to make sense. Theo, unfortunately, is not able to break free from the pack at the moment, so we'll just play it out. Settle in here.
I mean, the fact that Theo's this fast without having good, you know, the best parts is pretty good, right? That's impressive. Really not a lot to see here. Tire temperatures aren't bad. All right, slow it back down for now that we're in our pit window. Snota's just, just absolutely booking it. How's Perez doing behind us? I mean, he's got better tread than us. He's not been pushing his tread as much as we have. So I mean, that's bonus for him, I suppose. Um, I think we wait one more lap. We're just gonna kind of milk a little bit more out of this since we know that we have, we're fine, right? We're gonna be good. Just in case we got to push those softs through. You know what? Honestly, I might even go one more lap after this. We're really looking really fine. We're looking really solid right now. Let's just, let's just milk as much as we can here. And be ready to be able to push those. Because I'd like to get the fastest lap back if we can. I mean, I don't want to go crazy and like spoil it for us. Like mess something up. But if we have the opportunity to, we might as well try for it. Possible Sonoda dips down below 30% briefly at the end of his lap here. But I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem. All right, coming on in your hards. All right, same for you. Attack, push, and deploy. And coming out on your hards. Cool. All right, the Sonata will dip down below 30 very, very briefly. Don't think it'll cost him much. I mean, it was like a corner that he was down below 30%. Oh, and he picked... <laughs> what? You can pick up a fastest lap coming in for a pit? I did not... I, my brain did not think that that was possible, I guess. That's hilarious. I guess if you're fast enough, even though you have to slow down coming to the pit. That is so weird. Oh, I love it. I mean, we're not... Obviously, other people are going to be faster eventually because this was not a... Very fast, fast as lap, but it's still funny. I mean, Snowda coming back out in first place after a pissed off he is pretty big. That just depends on how much Theo can catch back up down in eighth place now. I mean, a lot of the guys in front of Theo are going to have to pit. So, that will definitely help him, obviously. Uh, oh, I didn't put him on top of... Oh, I, that's the wrong one. I was looking at the wrong one. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I just did. I was looking at the wrong person. All right, how many people have to pit in front of him? Three. So, Norris doesn't have to pit right away. If we can catch Norris, the rest of the guys will just get out of our way. So, not worried about it. Go ahead and top up with you. Theo's up to fifth. All right, go ahead and top up with you. And we'll just settle in here. Theo's got a lot of ground to make up, unfortunately, but he should be able to. And he just has to catch Norris. Russell will get out of the way. I don't think he can lose Norris, but he definitely caught him. Mm, he might be able to lose him back on this back stretch here briefly. Can he? I think he can. I think he's going to be good. 
long as he breaks DRS and Norris, then that's huge. And the Norris is eventually going to have to pit, obviously, but not right away. But Theo's doing good. Uh, do we expect anybody to be doing a single pit at this point? I don't think so. I think everybody else is going to be double pitting still, so I think we're still good. Oh, Verstappen picking up a time penalty. Yeah, Verstappen's already back in fourth. Crazy. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Verstappen's actually a pretty good driver. <laughs> There's some news for you. News flash. Verstappen's pretty good. All right, we are not... Like, there's no reason to pit right now. We are so good. There's no rush to pit right now. We might wait till we get below 40 at this point. All right, next time Sonoda crosses the line, we'll schedule his pit. So right there. You know, I'm not even going to push on this lap. I'm going to save stuff or when we come out with the softs, just to make sure that we have passes left. And then Theo is right there. Man, Theo's a half a lap behind Sonoda, and he's in second place. Um, Theo can also schedule his pit. Same thing. I'm not going to not gonna push you. I'm going to let... One of you is going to get fastest lap, hopefully. I mean, Sonoda already has it, but I suspect somebody will take that from him here briefly. Which is part of the reason why I'm kind of... want to make sure I secure it even more. I mean, he got fastest lap coming in for a pit stop. That's just hilarious. Come on, guys. Mm, two eight's not great. I'm just going to put you on aggressive. I'm hoping you get enough temperature by the time you come back around. Everything else just stay the way it is. I really want to be able to push pretty aggressively here in a moment. Ah, oh, terrible pissed off for Theo. Still in second place, though. So, obviously not really concerned at all. All right, so Noda's already got temperature now. I think when he comes around to this bottom part, we go ahead and put him on full attack for a lap. See what he can do. Looks good. Go attack. Go push. Go full deploy. He's not going to have any DRS help, it doesn't look like. Might catch up with whoever's right there in front of him. But not by much. He's just going to have to do most of this himself. Alright, Theo. Your time. To, your time to shine, sir. Alright, so now I got a first section purple. Second section purple. What's the fastest? Do we see a fastest? Uh, we don't see the fastest here. I'd have to look it up somewhere else. I mean, Sonata should have this. Two, two, two purple sections. I would be shocked if he doesn't get this. <sighs> yeah, pretty sure he got that. All right, we can tone you down now. Just standard, just balance, just top up. Alright there, what you got, buddy? What you got? At least get your best time. It'll be fine. Oh, we got a purple in that section. Good job, Theo. I mean, not as, not, you know, obviously not the best, but pretty good. What's your best? 126, 917. You got a 127. You were only about 170. What is that? About 170, 160, something like that. Hundreds of a second behind. Not... Bad, honestly. All right, tone you back down. Balanced. And top up. So, you guys, good job. Just chill now. Now, I mean, we're back to being dominant again, guys. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much more dominant than Sonoda winning 
against most of the pack by a full half of a lap. I mean, it's not impossible to think the Sonoda could lap the top 10. <laughs> I mean, it's not far off. I don't think he will. But he might lap the top 11 here in a moment. He might get top 10, basically, as, you know, as a lap ahead, basically. Which would be funny. Yeah, I don't think he catches signs, but still. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, just, it's just ridiculous at that point. I mean, if this if this track was going to go, if we had another 10 laps right now, Sonoda might catch. He might lap everybody but Theo, <laughs> which is insane. Sonoda is so fast right now. Did I mention we're building new parts? And we're going to get even faster here in a bit. Not significantly, but a little bit faster. I mean, if I were to push the tires at all, we would have made up even more ground here. There's just obviously no point. It's possible Sonoda could have lapped top nine. You're so fast, guys. We are so fast. I mean, we're going to win the championship before we get to the last race, right? Like, that's definitely going to happen. We could just not race the last four races and be like, all right, we're good. We still won. Sonoda is having the season of his life. I mean, this dominance on hard mode is way more than the dominance we saw with Alfa Romeo and our normal mode run. Now, we did it an, a year earlier with Alfa Romeo, to be fair. But, honestly, I feel like a year later with uh, this much dominance and on hard mode, I'm okay with that. I think we could have done it in year three, even on hard mode, but it just didn't go that way. Still, very, very good. Very, very good. Especially if I had kept designing parts last season instead of just going straight into research. But obviously, the research helped. The research made us that much more dominant this year. Okay, well, that's another race in the books. Um, up next is Hungary. Hungary is a downforce circuit, so that's going to be a good one for us. Yeah. Hopefully we start getting some new parts, and then we can buy a new engines and ERS that we're definitely going to need and uh, see where that goes. So he's got a couple records there. He didn't get the record for Montreal. He did get the record for Spain, not for Monaco. He did get it for Italy. So he's got a lot of lap records, guys. Lot of lap records. All right. Well, we'll put a cut in there when we come back. More dominance. I love, uh, yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.